You know, every time I hear that song, it, it just rolls in my head and a lot of different questions. And this morning, as I, I start this second sermon, it's like, wow, how much of our lives, no, I'm going to make it more personal, how much of my life I put on, I know what's coming next, and then I respond. Anybody else? You lay out all these plans, you've got all this stuff put together, and then you take the next step. And then, then we have Christmas that just blows all that out of the water. You know, we've been going through some terms that just don't fit with the world anymore. Peace. Irony. It's, it's something that is just not a peace that the world gives. It's a peace that comes from Him. We talked about hope. Well, I hope so. No, hope is a process. You go through this process and preparing for things, and then even if something gets blown out of the water, you're okay because my hope is not in the world. It's in Jesus Christ. Blessed. Pastor Nick talked about, well, we talked about blessed with this too, and, and just, I am blessed because everything's going according to my will. Or renewal. Renewal is the same concept that says, I, I, I'm doing better, therefore, instead of understanding renewal is not something we do. It's something he's done. And so today, as we join together under one of those hard, hard, totally blown, blown away by our world, is the word love. What is love in our world today? I came across this slide. It helped me just make it real clear. Agape. It's ultimate love. Most of the times the word love is used in the Bible, this word is what is used in the Greek. Not eros, sexual love, Phileo, or phileo, friendship, or storge, which is family love. I want you to look at the next line. Agape, unlike those other three, is not a altogether, what's that word? It is not a. How are you feeling today? Tired. Good. Love is not a feeling. It's a way of life. It means doing what is best for someone despite your feelings for them. Anybody ever heard of John 3.16? For God so, because we all deserved it. In spite of ourselves, God sent forth his son because he is what real love is all about. How, do, how does this really come into practice or how does it really materialize itself in our lives that, that love is more than just something we talk about or, or an emotion or a feeling? How does it really become agape? Where'd Jane go? That way. Hi, Jane. Thank you for reading. You could have just recited that from the times you've done it in the Christmas story, right? The story of Mary. How did she handle all this stuff that happened? I want to take you through a three-step process that's going to end with a fourth. Ask, seek, knock. The angel of the Lord appeared to Mary and said, Hi, you are highly favored by God. Okay, anybody want to take that one on? You are really blessed by God. And Mary goes, Right. Next. What's next? 
Guess what, Mary? You're going to have a child conceived by the Holy Spirit. I got a challenge for all of us here today. Every one of you is blessed by God. You are highly favored by him. He gave his only son to die on the cross to pay for all your sins. You are highly favored. He's got a job for you to do. How do you feel? I know this is a church, so you're silent. How do you feel? Wow. Wow. First word was ask. How to use the verb ask correctly. I'm going to start with a negative example, okay? Well, I already know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway for all the other people who don't know. Ever heard that before? I have way too often. I don't know the answers, but I know the one who does. And he's the one that I ask. Anybody else? Lord, if it be your will, anybody ever use that in a prayer? Lord, this is the way I want it to be, and if it's not, I'm not going to believe in you anymore. Is that asking? hear how the world's turned it upside down again? Hear how you and I can turn it upside down again? Step two is seek. Mary goes, oh wow, I'm going to be pregnant by the Holy Spirit and okay, what do we do with this? So she seeks out someone who's very wise her cousin, anybody remember her name? She goes to see Elizabeth, and while she's there, John the Baptist in the womb of Elizabeth leaps for joy. <coughs> she seeks out. Maybe this is how the world turned it upside down. How about that one? Is this dude seeking anything? I'm just going to sit back here and I'm going to wait and I'm going to seek and I'm going to, going to see what happens with this. And maybe, just maybe, something's going to happen. See, I, I sought out a cough drop, okay? So I want you to think about something. We've been adding things every week. God has given us all a gift. Some of us still have them under the trees. That's okay. It's not Christmas yet. Are you going to leave them there for the next year? Are you going to put to practice the gifts that God has given to you? He reminds us He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It starts with Him and it builds and grows from Him. But there's a peace that comes next. Anybody know what these are? We were going to get a rotary phone, but we didn't think you would know what they were. <laughs> these are a couple of my old cell phones, but you know they're not that old. Well, they don't work now, but they still had something called caller ID. Does anybody know what that is? When you hear a message that says unknown, 
Anybody else like me? And ignore it. How many times has God called you and you didn't know who it was? He had a plan. He had a special project he wanted you to do. He wanted to bless you beyond any measure. And we looked at the phone and went, Nope. I'm going to get personal. This morning, <clears throat> this morning I was taking a shower, and our shower has a skylight above it. Don't ask me why it was there when we bought the house, okay? We had a skylight above the shower. And I am in the shower, and I'm going, oh, this feels so good. And I looked up, and it was like there was an eye looking at me. The moon was perfectly positioned in the middle of the skylight. The haze was starting to roll in, and there was this Anybody else have a God sighting today? Not because I looked at a spotlight and I can't see you anymore, but what happened? Did you see him? Did you see his power? Did you see his love? Did you see him? Wow. Ask. Seek. I'm going to change the word. To me, it's really one of dig. It's one of digging into his word and letting it become alive as it it fills you with an excitement of of what it means to know what that next package that he's going to unveil to you is going to be. And let that excitement grow. How do you do that? I, I love this parish because of all the kids that we've got. And I think about Christmas trees, and when they see the Christmas trees, and they go, whoa, these, where's all the packages? And they see the packages, and, and, and they see it at your homes, and they see them in the, under the trees, and they get, it builds. What's happening to you this year? Is it building? Are you allowing the ways of the world to start One of the things that's happening to me right now is my sinuses are releasing again. We have an awful lot of flowers up here. Because one of our good members is home with our Lord. Dave Newton's funeral was yesterday. Ask, seek, dig. Dig into God's word. Let him give you the answers we need to have in life to deal with whatever's going to be happening. Remember Mary? Mary goes, I don't know what all this means, but I know the one who's doing it, so I can trust in him. And this next piece, this fourth word, is one to me that is so, so lost. When it comes to the whole concept of love, you know, so often when we're looking for certain things, you know what you're going to find? What you're looking for? You want to find fault, you want to find reason to be angry, you want to find reason for whatever. Guess what? You're going to find it. Ask, seek, dig, and get ready to find him. 
If you want the mercy of Jesus Christ in your life, don't find fault with others. Seek his forgiveness. Be kind and show mercy to, just like he's done, everyone. Let kindness be your watchword. Discover the good. I can't read the rest of that. Find the good, somebody, find the good what? No, you can read. Find the good. Where? In everyone. Can you believe Jesus Christ has found some good in me? Don't look too hard. He's done the same for each and every one of us. Find the good in everyone. See the possibilities. Use every opportunity to discourage other people. Is that what it says? For if the Lord found fault with your idle words or your unkind acts, or what chance would you have? Let kindness be your watchword. Last week, I used this slide, and I had to bring it back because to me it, it just speaks so many volumes about what this is all about. Unpacking the gift of God Letting the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world start with us as he takes away our sin. And when he's calling to us with his love and wanting us to do things, we say, here am I, send me, send me. Why? He leads me beside quiet waters. Anybody else need that? That's what real love does. It restores. Let his peace, let his strength, let his true love fill you. In Jesus' name.